friends of revolutionaries. That's right, guys. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> yes, it was. It was not. It was. Okay. Uh, <laughs> keeping up with our Halloween theme kind of videos, got a very special guest with a, a, a very special figure that actually I'm pretty stoked to be able to get a chance to take a look at. I've I only had one experience with uh, with the uh, with the play arts figures, and uh, you all know how that went. So uh, getting a chance to try out another one. Hopefully it's going to turn out a lot better. Uh, but like I said, got a special guest here. Hi. <laughs> I'm kind of shy, sorry. <laughs> and uh, she's going to help take a look because it's her figure. It's hers. And uh, why don't you start and just tell us a little bit about where you got it and what's, what's the story behind it. Okay, so I guess the story behind this is the, like, Bleeding Heart story is that a really good friend of mine knew that I really liked Kingdom Hearts back in the day, and um, this was kind of a surprise birthday gift to me. Um, I, it was one of the first figures I was ever given, so I don't have a lot that, you know, predate this one in my collection, so, so he is definitely one of my favorites. So it's one of the ones that kicked you off on your figures. It really did, it really did, and it's, it's not to jump ahead of myself here, but it's so high quality that it's, it makes it kind of an addictive hobby when you start out with something this great. Well, that's the way figures can be, you know, you yeah. get something good, you just want to get another one. Is it going to be as good? Yeah, if and I then, could buy this entire line, I would. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, and like I said with Harlequin, I mean, square, or square, um, um, Play Arts. Play Arts always does nice figures. They do nice figures in package. They do nice figures out of package. Square or <laughs> Play Arts. They really know what they're doing. They they really try to stay true for uh, for fans. So uh, here we go. Uh, who are we taking a look at today? Who is it? This is Sora from King of Hearts. This is the Halloween Town version of his costumes. Anybody who's played the games probably knows that he has little different costumes for every level in the first one or every area rather and, and then this some... was the first one this is the, from the first kingdom Hearts. this is from the first kingdom hearts right yeah right. it's because a little got, different in the second one he's but... got the little pumpkin on his head yes he's got the little pumpkin on his head very observant of you yeah. <laughs> um but Not hard to miss <laughs> yeah he's um got the whole shebang right here kind of kingdom hearts kind of um yeah and it's very banners whimsical around too. It. yeah yeah i like the whimsical here and i was i was talking about this before we got the camera started um that that's not my hand. That's this is my hand. That's mine. That's <laughs> there are four hands. <laughs> um, so look here. Yeah, if you look here, it's. I mean, it's obviously it's packaged for multiple regions because you actually see down here the name. If you can see teeny tiny underneath, right there, Sora, written in Japanese as well. Um, I was okay. noting that. Yeah, right there. And then I was noting also it is in um, Spanish, Italian, English, and in Japanese. So definitely marketed to multiple locations on that one see you know there they go we got ahead. multiple barcodes yeah so like i said you know do a generic packaging sell them all over the world don't have to spend any extra money that is a great backdrop too oh yeah it's I, perfect i love that i love that kind of uh, diorama that they do for the figure that just looks so cool and it's obviously it's it's kind of a prototype so it varies a little bit now sora's number four there we go sora's number four uh, Cloud is number five, and Sephiroth. Sephiroth, number six. So who was one through three? I don't remember. You know, I don't know either. I don't remember. He was my first one, so it starts at number four for me. I guess, I guess it was my, maybe it was Sora, the regular Sora. It could have been. With, uh, what's his girlfriend's name? Um, Kairi. Kairi. I think she was in the line. And, and maybe I think was, there's a Riku figure somewhere in this, but I'm just they, I'm not that familiar could, with this part could, of the line. They could very well have been the first three. I mean, they were the main characters. One thing I love about uh, about uh, Play Arts, and I said this with Harley, is that they've got great packaging, so you can keep them in pack. Oop, he's shaking around. You can keep them in pack, and you get these huge windows that you can see the inside of the inside of the box. You can see the figure. You don't necessarily have to get the figure out to really appreciate it, but. Um, but yeah, we're, you know, we're going to get him open. We're going to get him open, and we're going to take a look at the figure. Yeah, and just as kind of a note, as my apology to everybody, this was my first figure. I didn't keep the, the cover that went over him, um, but I usually do display him in box, except during the, the season, the Halloween season. So he's in pretty good shape. There's a picture in there with the lock in the background. And the keyblade. That's very cool. Yeah, and this keyblade. The keyblade, that's right. Keyblade, but um, yeah, that's taking a look at Sora, Halloween Town Sora in the packaging. What we'll do is go ahead and uh, pop them out of the pack 
take a look and have some fun. Be right back. Myself, is that better? <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we get the figure open and out of the pack. <laughs> Welcome to the conversation, guys. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. We lost you for a minute there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we've got Sora open, and uh, wow. I mean, considering that, uh, that Harley is a much more modern play arts figure, and Sora is one of the earlier ones, I... <sighs> I'll I think he's volume two, play arts volume two. Was, uh, he's it's... not before play arts Kai. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was He's definitely before Harley, before the Arkham City sets, uh, Arkham Asylum sets, and it's no wonder that, that Play Arts has such a great reputation. I just think it's such a, such a shame the price has gone up and the accessories have gone down. Because uh, even though he only comes with his Keyblade, that's going to be an awesome base. <laughs> that's going to be really, really cool to take a look at. But... Um, but first, take a look at the figure. Yeah, one of your favorite costume designs, you said? Yeah, it is. And I was, I was correcting myself, which is the conversation where everybody got to join us, um, that I can't actually remember if he does change costumes for everything. I know he does in the, the second game. He has a lot of different costumes. But in the first game, um, not as much. Halloween Town might be the only one. It's been a little while. Well, he was the mermaid. Since I played it. Oh, yeah, he was he the, the mermaid. Tail. He had so the tail the mermaid. I'm only, like, 40% wrong. Yeah. That's... Which is fine, and, really. And... There's no one particular reason why I remember that, except that I do. <laughs> yeah, well, that was because we were of... talking about the the Keyblades. That's right, yeah, that's right, we that's right. Because that was, that was the world before Halloween Town, I think. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, because really that's the one I saw he, he had. had the Keyblade for right, that with, one. With the bubbles. With the bubbles. With the bubbles. The bubbles. The bubbles. Bubbles. Okay. Bubbles. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Well, <laughs> All right. <laughs> welcome, so, to, welcome to the channel. Yeah. So go oh, ahead. Wow. Pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, okay. I don't up. know how to do this. So yes. if I knock things over, sorry guys. Uh, don't worry. Um, this is, like I said, probably my favorite costume from the entire entirety of Kingdom Hearts. There's a lot of different characters, so it's nice. I'm picking up the figure now, and I'm moving it over here to the capable hands of oh. your host. Look at these guys in the fangs. Yeah, this thing's actually, um, I think one of the things that actually made me want to bring this over and um, contribute to the show with this was the makeup job on the face is absolutely fantastic. The the tiny fangs are wonderful. Shut your face. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. I've been I've seen a lot of bad figures. Anyway, um, but I think it's really great. It's it's more of a doll approach than it is a figure approach. Uh, well, it, it reminds me more like a face up on a um, like a Baldwin doll. Yeah, I mean, I can. Uh, he's got. He definitely seems to have kind of that pale porcelain kind of look. Mm -hmm. You know. And then they do the the shading I here to give you like the shadows and everything. Yeah, I mean. The hair certainly casts a shadow over his eyes. Well, they've got it shaded in too. You can, but if not, you tip it up. But not as much. Not as much in the game. Well, I mean, the whole color scheme is 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 different. I mean, here they put him in a very kind of charcoal kind of black color. It's where, a little more blue. Well, yeah, and and we were talking about that when we were looking at it. You know, it's like in the game they were trying to make it look like he was standing in moonlight. So there's that blue light kind of shining off of him. Whereas here, he's just kind of in a black costume. Oops, let's put him in camera, shall we? <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit different. Because um, you'll find in the, in the game that, for example, the red on the legs is more of a maroon color. Um, so the colors are more muted. It's definitely that moonlight drenched kind of a yeah, look. Yeah, I mean, but here you can clearly see it's, it's, it's a black. As, as far as reproducing this as if you were to make it yourself, for example, um, I think it's fairly accurate in the color scheme? I think that if you wanted to. Now, I wouldn't do this to a, to a play arts figure. I wouldn't because I can't afford it. But... <laughs> I, yeah. And this one's not yours. <laughs> that too. Uh-huh. Uh, you could uh, either airbrush or dry brush a blue over it and give it some blue highlights and probably get a little bit closer to the way the color when the game was. But, or you could um, stick it under attractive lighting. You could. You could probably get a blue light and, and do that. Yeah, you probably could. It's Halloween. They got all sorts of colors. <laughs> I recommend that instead of painting my figure. But that's, I mean, it's a cool costume. I mean, it's just a very cool costume. We, we did mention that the gloves and the boots do seem a little oversized on the figure compared, compared to the video game. And the only other thing I think is, is quote-unquote off is the, um, the capelet is a little bit big. This one? Yeah, it's this? a little bit bigger. The wings and the capelet are a little bit different than they are in the game, yeah, um, proportionally. I, I think they're just trying to exaggerate certain things. Oh, yeah, it, it wouldn't work as well. Um, the height little, difference is there. 
he's a little more of a compact kind of a person in the in the game. But this is this is a good translation. I really well, think and he's also very small. He's 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 a small figure. So just to give you the idea that he's not like a grown up. You know, he's a kid. Yeah. So you know, they, is... they they made him real small. They made him kind of little. I love that little. He's got his own version of the bat symbol on there. It's not a bat symbol. It's a crown. <laughs> I know it's a crown. We've been over this, people. Whoa. Oops. But uh, but as far as the figure goes, I mean, it's it's a play arts figure, so it's loaded with articulation. It's a full ball jointed head. The arms do come up and out. Twist the shoulder. It's got the twist at the elbow. Now, oh, he's you also got a twist at the at the bicep too. Very you don't cool. Like the arms, though. I think you were saying before. Uh, it's not that I, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that um, you know, coming from uh, coming from uh, Mattel figures, mm -hmm. you know, any character that has very spindly arms like this, you're gonna have to be real careful because you know those joints can definitely break real easy. That I mean, depending on the quality plastic, you know, s slender arms can can lead to broken joints. Yeah. So it's not that I don't. It's not that I don't mind the arms. I think the arms look great. I just think you have to be very, very cautious with them. Yeah, he's good for posing, not so much for tossing up against walls and. Or no, he's not really an act, <laughs> he's not really an action figure. He's really not. Despite he's a the fact that, figure. Exactly. Exactly. He's got twisted the gloves, but I just noticed this, and this is actually something you don't see in a lot of figures, is that um, you don't see the peg on the uh, on the elbow. So it's like it's not like the elbow is a peg that goes straight through. They actually have that covered up, which is nice. I mean, you can still clearly see there's a joint there, but at least you don't have kind of that distracting little peg sticking out. That's just a nice little touch from Play Arts. Uh, he's got his torso, which hopefully won't pop out like Harley Quinn did. <laughs> Legs come up. Nope, don't come out. Do they come out? A little bit? Okay, yeah, they come out a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of the, the design of the top messes with it a little bit. Uh, he's got the bend at the knee, which actually that's kind of cool. You see here, the sculpting at the uh, back of his uh, pants, they kind of fold in when the knee bends. That's kind of nifty. I like that. There's no twist at the knee. There is a twist at the foot and the hinge, so you can kind of give him a... <laughs> Pose. Kind of got him walking there, kind of moseying along. He can do the running man if you, <laughs> you do that. He's party rocking. <laughs> party rocking. Got the uh, got the X sculpted in the back of his glove. Very cool there. And he's got a peg on the inside of his hand. Now, why does he have his peg in his he hand? He has a peg because, oh my gosh, we're getting to my favorite part of the figure other than the <laughs> face. Um, the Keyblade. Now, my problem with the Keyblade before I start extolling its virtues is that it's kind of... Big. It's well, it's because it's supposed to be big. Um, the plastic reminds me vaguely of toothpick plastic. Um, it mm. seems a little flimsy. I would, yeah, I, I mean, you can, yeah, I wouldn't, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I that's as wouldn't. much as I'm doing. I seriously, but, um, is that Jack? Is yes, Jack, Jack Skellington's face. Is that his face on there? Yeah, focus. There we go. Yeah, how about that? But um, the only, I mean, my only complaint with this entire figure actually is the Keyblade material. It's it's brittle. It's that real brittle plastic, and I would it be is, worried about it. It is but. a little bit soft. It's, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's like super soft. But you're right. It is, it is one of the things where it, it frightens me to have that out with the figure. If anybody's gonna be walking, yeah, by. I can see why you'd want to keep it and pack because if you were to pose this and he took a tumble. Mm -hmm. It could yeah, break. it could snap very easily. Yeah, I mean it's beautiful. It's got great little detail work. Oh yeah, on it. I love the turn it that way so you can see the bat. No, 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 no. Turn this way. It's like oh. a little bat. Up, oh, down, 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 down. There you go. I'm learning, people. I can't actually, <laughs> I can't actually see the camera right I'm now. I'm hogging it. I'll He's hogging the it. camera. I'm so it's it. like a little bat. A little bat. Woo. Um, but then you got the little bat wings along the little skeleton head there, and then my favorite part on this whole thing is let me see if I can get this to turn the right way. Is that the right way? Um, the little pumpkin with its little face, because I like tiny faces. There you go, little jack o' lantern. Pumpkin with face, yes, the jack o' lantern. Very and cool. And then um, one of the neatest things about this is you've got this keychain thing going on in here, the little clasp. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys, just had to reset the camera there for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I was <laughs> my, my fault. <laughs> I was um, freaking out just a little bit about the, um, I'm going to let you hold that, um, the way that there's a clasp on there, so you can actually remove it. I'm not sure why you would want to remove it, but it's a nice touch. Well, I mean, didn't he have the jack-o'-lantern at the end of his of the keybag? It is at the end of the keybag. Yeah, it so. does dangle, um, but they've chosen to put it on there. So should you so choose to pull it off and use it as like a zipper pull or something, I don't know why you would, um, <laughs> but it is a p possibility in your life. 
that you can make that life choice. And by pe pegging it in as such. Yeah, let me. Let you. Yeah, yeah let me do it. Let you do it. Let me do, you it. do it. There you go. Okay. No, of course, then I knock it out of the peg immediately. Hold on. <laughs> out of frame. Out of frame. Redo. Do over. Oh, and taking a look at the base here. This is actually kind of, it's, it's a plain Jane base. I mean, there's no, there's nothing on it denoting Kingdom Hearts or Sora. You know, if you wanted to, you might be able to print something out and kind of make it look nice. But what I really love about the base is that, first off, it's got the, it's got kind of these, um, well, actually, I thought, yeah, it's got a, it's got a height level where it just clicks to different levels in height. So if you wanted to, you could have him doing a jumping pose off of it. And I keep going out of frame myself. <laughs> You can have him up high, so it's like he's jumping or something. You can click it down lower and just have him standing on the base itself. And it's got these doll clasps, you know, like you get it at a craft store for doll collectors or something. And it's not just those plastic clasps that other figures have that break. It's actually got those nice little, almost like a paper clip clasps, which I really love. I love the base. He doesn't need it. He certainly doesn't need it. His, uh, his boots and, uh, and, the, uh, and just the weight of the figure make it stand up real well on its own. But, again, if you want to have some sort of dynamic pose, focus, camera. <laughs> focus for me. There you go. Yeah, if you want to do some sort of dynamic pose, there we go. I'm about to knock him over because I can't pose figures. Oh, actually, that looks great. Um, that looks yeah. great. That looks so cool. And one of the neatest things about this and the things that make it so poseable, I don't know, did you talk about the foot joint and how it can mm -hmm. go side to side? Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that because a lot of the figures that I do own now don't have that flexibility in the feet or the ankles. And so it's very hard to get them to stand up. Now, he has the advantage of having these big old wide feet. Um, he's got these gunboats on his feet. But, <laughs> but you can actually put the feet out further and give him more of this dynamic look. So he's, you know, in my poorly posed figure here. No, he's that like, looks awesome. back ready to, And, and you, know. you know, when I see this, and this is something where I said it with NECA when I talked about Freddy Krueger. It's something where with this figure, it's just such a shame that we get Sora... But we don't get the Mummy Donald or the Jack Skellington figure. Or the, the Goofy. Or the, the Frankenstein Goofy. He has a little pumpkin on his nose. I he's like got a bolt pumpkins. in his head. And a bolt he's in his head. He's got a bolt in his head, yeah. It's a shame we don't get those because, I mean, seeing Sora like this, I mean, I really would like to see him with two companions to really kind of get that whole, you know, nightmare or... Uh, nightmare uh, for Christmas. Nightmare for Christmas level, yes, yes. But, uh, but very cool. A very cool figure. Thank you for bringing him over. You got it. Yeah. Hope everybody enjoyed watching. We'll be back with more Halloween-related stuff. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.